welcome back. This is part three. Um, these are some of the older bottles I have. Uh, you can tell by the applied tops and you know they're uneven and the seam stops right under the lip. But this one is uh, the Maltine Manufacturing Company Chemist, New York. That, that cleaned up beautiful. Looks like it just came out of the store. Um, I have some other really old ones. Uh, this really dark green Eclipse French Satin Gloss Dressing. I have no idea what that is. Um, got some nice bubbles. Light. I don't have good lighting in here. I'm trying to do the best I can, but I like a bubble right up there on the lip. Um, I couldn't get it very clean, but bubbles there, and it's the seam on this bottle is like goes up the the corner, and then it stops right at the neck. So. Feel free to leave comments, Matt, because I'm still learning. I just dug them up for the heck of it and started liking them and collecting them and watching other people's videos, but I don't know, you know, what everything is. Um, I've got this solid black one. I put a little flashlight in there and uh, no light penetrated through it, so I don't know what they put in, you know, black glass. Um, I've got this. I think it's Piso or Piso Company, Hazeltine and Company, um, Piso Trademark, nothing on the bottom, it's got a small crack in it right there, uh, you can't tell it from the front, and it's, uh, you can see the seam goes up and stops right there bottom of the neck but bitters uh, this is sorry JGB Seagert and Sons it's a little bitters I'm not sure if you can see that on there Really nice bottle, cleaned up really good. Uh, this little Murine Eye Remedy. Um, probably had a label back here on the back. Got a little chip up there at the top, but nice little cork top. And this one I think might be one of my oldest ones that I've ever found. Uh, nothing on the bottom. It's, I think, a whiskey flask. It's got um, bubbles all over in it, uh, and it's really crooked. I know this is an applied top. The uh, seam is real, sticking out really far. It goes up and it stops right there. And you can see it's like crooked. It's over here. One side is real thick down the neck, and the other side's real thin. Um, you can see the seam, you know, stops right there. But the top is like the right side is real skinny, and the left side's thicker. So I, I think that's a really old bottle. Then I found this last summer. I pull it out. Um, uh, all I seen was herp, herpicide. I thought it was like a medicine for herpes until I got it cleaned up because I was digging in that clay. But it says herpicide quality products for the hair and scalp. So I thought I had a herpy bottle, but it wasn't end up being this bottle is for exclusive use of barber and beauty
afraid something is illegal. The Herpicide Company, Detroit, Michigan. Beautiful bottle, still had the little metal cap on it. Um, then this other things I find, this is a old Mr. Boston, beautiful embossing, got the guy on it, twist cap, but you can see the bottom, sorry, is a uh, really thick, it's got a 56 and a 40, so I'm not sure which year it would have been made in. Clorox bottles, I find them all the time. I've got, well this one actually says ball on it, so apparently they made bottles and jars for all different companies. Um, this Clorox bottle still has, it's kind of like a honey amber. But Clorox company on the bottom. Sorry, my videos ain't that good. This is the only second time I've attempted um, to do it. Uh, showed you the jug already. Um, I'll, these are little milk bottles I've dug up. Every one of these are different. Um, this one says five cent store bottle. Really neat. And this one still can't figure out what the name is. I, I don't know if it's Hickle, Hickle O, or Ickle O. So it's chocolate dairy drink trademark. The Esmond Dairy Company I can't, oh, Sandusky, Ohio, um, I got that one, I love this one, it's uh, just a little, a little pint, um, three cent deposit, it's from Detroit, Michigan, uh, I don't know the company, Dairy Container Corporation. <clears throat> um, Borelli's Dairy, I guess. Another, this one says sealed. Store bottle, five cents. It's cracked in the back there, but you can't tell it from the front. Um, I only got a few minutes left. I don't want to make this video too long. I have, uh, I don't find all kinds of stuff. Uh, this beautiful blue bromo seltzer. Um, Dr. S. N. Thomas Electric Oil External it says on one side and internal it says on the other side and it's like really aqua blue it's got bubbles all over in it beautiful bottle uh, this I guess perfume from New York I think this may be the oldest bottle I have I, there's no nothing on it it's real aqua. It's got a lot of damage, but it's uh, the seam goes up and then stops right there. But the lips all chipped up and everything. But I I don't know what it would have been. It's not very big. Um, a little mini Bromo seltzer. Love the blue bottles. Um, this I found last summer also, it's a uh, emerald green, it would have been, I can't get the top off, it's like stuck in there and I didn't want to try, but it's 
broke right here a little bit, not a little bit, but it says the Crown Perfumery Company, London. Um, it's a CP company for Crown Perfumery and then number and a bunch of numbers on it, but I wish I could have got that off to clean the inside up, but still nice. Um, this is my blue collection, Bromo Seltzers, I've got, er, yeah, Bromo Seltzer, Milk and Magnesias, all different sizes and styles, um, real light blue, dark blue, Vicks, Noxzema, I guess these would, would have been like maybe little cologne or, I don't know, medicine, poison, I'm not sure, they're really nice though, um, I keep everything blue. These are Noxzema. I just got all kinds of little things here. I'm moving everything around. That's why it looks so messy. But some marbles I found. I find marbles all the time. One time I found like 252 all different colored, like clear marbles. They weren't nothing special, but um, this is a Great seal. Newark, Ohio. Uh, <clears throat> great seal. I don't know what that would have been. Um, a little airplane. Probably cologne for men. But, um, it's a real big new Joe. I guess that was wine or whiskey, I'm not sure. I've never seen anybody dig one up, so I don't know nothing about it. Uh, oop. Little amber cork tops. Uh, I find tons of cork tops. Um, this is, I think, one of the favorite things I've found so far. This old jug. Um, got colors all over. It's a you know, cork top deformed it's not perfectly round so I guess it's handmade but I thought it was gonna be broke when I pulled it out but either the cork or a rubber stopper is in it and I couldn't get it out I tried but no luck but it don't matter I'll put another cork in it but it's beautiful it's got pitting all over discoloration bumps no no writing at all no markings or nothing but okay I'm gonna end this video and I'll have another short one after this bye